come to Inner Peace Sunday. I hope you enjoy your meditation practice regularly. Well, how are you? And I hope we're gonna have a good meditation again today. And <clears throat> today, before we begin, let's do our routine checkup, everyone. For those who are uh, new, don't forget to leave your name, your local time, and the place where you watch this broadcasting from so I can get to know you. And those who are equally, please do the same thing we like normally do. And please stay tuned after our session. We have a short quick wisdom to share. And today I have prepared some good story that can reflect up on our life, which is the chess master. What is the chess master? How it will be? How can you learn from it? Stay after the session, okay? And, well, everyone, in a few minutes, we are going to start our meditation session. So please allow me to teach a little bit of introduction to meditation, how we practice. Well, of course, if you're familiar, familiar with your own meditation and you like to join us, you are also welcome. However, if you like to try our meditation, which is called a meditation, well, I am happy to tell you now. And, well... Let's not make our time wasting. Let's see who are uh, those who are giving me anything that like to suggest. Loud and clear. Thank you, Miss Janice. Diane. Hello, April. Hello, Andy. Good to see you. Hello, Mr. Shi. Well, expect some good news to hear soon. Okay, I will contact you directly. In fact, probably going to be able to see you on uh, December. Anyway, I hope we are doing well, everyone. Please allow me to give proper introductions. The Middle Way Meditation. Well, the Middle Way Meditation is the name of our meditation that our master has named. So it's easier for the Westerner or those who don't speak Thai to understand what is the Middle Way. Let's take a look at first how do we focusing our or, or and where are we, where are we focusing our mind. We are focusing our mind at the place called center of the body. And center of the body here, as you can see, it is located right here, two finger widths above your navel. Bless them, but inside your body, as you may see the blue spot in the picture in the diagram that I just show you. And when we focusing our mind, of course, sometimes our mind cannot focus because we may not be practice meditation uh, are used to it quite well. So therefore, sometimes our mind get distracted. So we are using a technique which is called visualization. We imagine something, an object that you are familiar, but it should be something that don't make you think or create emotion. Something that's simple for you to visualize. Something like the sun, the moon, a star, or even something like a ball, something that you are familiar like a rose, if you like flowers. Either way is fine, but make sure choose one object and visualize them in the center. However, sometimes when you visualize them, it may not be enough to stop you from thinking, from wandering. Maybe you want to use another technique, which is called mantra. Well, the mantra that I am about to presenting is a tradition that our great master has been uh, taught us, passed down into many, many generations. The mantra here is called Samma Raham, as you may see on the screen. Samma Raham. Samma Raham. Repeat this in your mind. But if you are alone, you like to say it out loud, you are also fine to do that as well. It doesn't fix, but well, you can also find your own mantra. And Samma Rahang is a Pali word. It has loosely translating as Samma is mean purify or purity. Arahang is mean freedom from negative thought. So if you combine these two terms, it means purity and freedom from the negative thoughts, which allow the mind to be focused better. Our mind is like a glass of water. A glass of water that, of course, 
can be purified when it becomes still. So if you're stirring them, you won't be able to see the bottom clearly, just like our mind when we are thinking. But when we are still, it's like the glass of water has been stopped stirring. That's allow us to be able to see better. And so with this, it would allow us to focus our mind at the center of the body. But all in all, everyone, if you're having trouble by focusing the mind or difficulty to focus at the center, don't worry about finding the center. Just relax. There are things that you need to do during meditation taught by my master. Here, things to do during the meditation. One, at the beginning, you must relax. Make sure you are relaxed. Because if you don't relax, it will be difficult to continue on focusing. Imagine when you try to read a book and there are noise disturbance. That's why you need a quiet place to read the book, right? Like in the library. And so you need to be relaxed and comfortable when you meditate. Don't force yourself, don't try too hard. If you feel relaxed, you should feel light. So much light that you don't feel your body. But remember, all relaxation should not be too much. We don't go to extreme because meditation, the middle way meditation as the name imply, focus in the middle, not too hard, not too relaxed neither. So make sure you are relaxed in this part. Then when you meditate, you must be mindful. Be mindful. Be aware of yourself. If you are not aware, that means you might loosely sleepy or try too hard it won't be able to be focused okay so be mindful during meditation and observe but when you observe this during meditation observe not what you are doing observe whether you are relaxed or not if you are not relaxed start over just you know meditation you can you have to be ready to start over again and lastly consistent be mindful be relaxed and observe all the time this would allow you to be better in meditation and so these are the tips that i gained from my two weeks meditation well still are you all ready hello miss christine good to see you and hello miss ann well i think we are ready and so we shall start our meditation in about two minutes. So I'll give you two minutes to prepare yourself. First of all, do you need to call someone? If you are, well, do it now. Clear everything. And turn off the mobile phone so it won't disturb your meditation. You don't want that, right? During this precious time in silent. Second, do you need to use restroom? Do it now. Because... If you meditate so well, so relaxed, but then you need to use restroom, it won't be good for our meditation neither. So try not to do that. So create off by use the bathroom before you start meditate. And last but not least, make sure that the room that you are meditating is peaceful, suitable for meditation. Because otherwise, it's going to be quite difficult for you to meditate. Then everyone, if you pass these three conditions that I just mentioned, you are get, you are yourself ready to go. Let's see, okay, it seems everyone ready. Hello, Mr. Go. Haven't seen you last week. Well, it's good to see you again this week. Still, if you are ready, let's begin our meditation. Give me a few seconds to adjust our meditation video. Okay. Oh, it's back. And then we shall start our meditation. All right. Let's begin our meditation. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Relax your mind and body. Adjusting yourself. Sitting. 
in a relaxed and comfortable position where you won't feel any tension on your body relax very truly begin from the top of your head relax down to your forehead relax your eyebrows loose your eyelids don't use your eyes or squeezing your eyes during the meditation relax very truly down to your neck and your shoulder adjusting your back properly free from all the tension you might have relax both of your arms all the way down to the tips of your hands continue further down to your legs your knees and all the way to your feet completely making your whole body feeling most comfortable during the meditation spend this few moment adjusting your body when you are done let's move on to adjust your mind begin by take a deep breath slowly breathing it out Take a deep breath a few more times. Slowly breathing it out. Empty your mind. Clear off the thoughts and worries at the same time. While you breathing it out. Then imagine that yourself is alone in this place, in a place that you like to be by yourself, without anyone to disturb or bother you, a place of your own like your own home no worries relax and comfortable both body and mind then allow the mind to come back to your body slowly and gently your mind is like a bubble floating down 
a bubble floating down into the center inside yourself. Begin to observe the mind through your feeling. Maintain the focus inside your body by lightly imagine. Imagine the sun shine over the mind or at the center inside yourself. Observe the sun calmly while relax both body and mind. Should the thought arise, don't worry. Let it go and let it in without following your thoughts. Spend this few moments, observe the sun, or you may apply the mantra in your mind, softly, slowly, at your own pace. And the mantra is Samma. Arahang Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Continue Observe the sun while repeat the mantra in your mind at your own pace. So let's take our time finding ourselves in a peace for a little while until the appropriate time.
the center. Maintain relaxation both body and mind. Stay relaxed, feeling light and empty all over body and the mind inside yourself the mind that come to stillness will find itself the contentment when you feel contentment the compassion happiness and peace will arise from the center. Let's share this peaceful feeling, share our compassion with all the people that we love and care for. Expand this peaceful feeling in all directions. Like expand the mind and body, sharing this peace. Begin from yourself and all the people in this room. Sharing further to your family, friends, your neighbor, expanding further, cover the whole town and the whole country and all the people over the world. May this compassion, peacefulness reach their mind. Let they experience the happiness and peacefulness that you gain from this meditation. Let's spend our few moments sharing our love and kindness for a little while
Take a deep breath. Slowly breathing it out. Feel the center. Why relax both body and mind? Maintain the calmness, the peaceful feeling. Stay relaxed and comfortable as long as you can. Maintain the connection of your mind and the center. Then slowly and gently open your eyes. Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy our peaceful meditation with me today. Well, <clears throat> please allow me to check your meditation experience. For those who are regularly watching and joining this Inner Peace Sunday, you may leave the comment as follow. Or, if you are new, well, one, if you are relaxed, just leave the comment as one. For those who are able to experience so much relaxation, like your body could have been disappeared, but you are still not sleeping, of course, leave the comment as two. For those who are able to uh, experience inner light, in your meditation, leave the comment as three, even for just a few minutes, a few seconds is fine. That is your achievement, the best in this meditation time. All in all, if you can maintain this, leave me the comment. But anything else that I did not mention, leave the comment as four, and I'll get back to you whenever I have seen your comment. So now let's take a look. Oh, hello, Miss uh, Julie. It's nice to see you. I'm not sure you are watching, but if you are, please also leave me the comment of where you're from and uh, watch the local time so I can get to know you. Hello, Cheryl. Good to see you. Hello, so Petra. Haven't seen you in a while. Have you been med practicing meditation regularly? Don't be lazy now, okay? Glad you made it, Cheryl. And I like it. I hope you enjoy our meditation music. Hello, Miss Pam. Good to see you. I hope to see you soon next year. And anyway, Mr. Kosal, are you still there? I'm not sure yet, but if you are, well, welcome. Hello, Mr. Nick. Good to see you. I'm sorry that I didn't uh, greeting you earlier, but still, good to see, have you back. And Miss Pirunche, I, I think you're in Thailand, right? But anyway, have you hope, hope you practice meditation, enjoy meditation with me. And now, let's see. Who leave the comment? Miss Janice, relax. Well, remember this, if you are relaxed, even though sometimes you are feeling that you don't progress. My master taught that it doesn't matter what if your meditation experience. As long as you are happy as the result in your meditation, that is count as a progress. Okay, so for those who are relaxed, try to maintain this, and this will be the foundation that allow you to go higher. For those that can experience, let's see, I just saw some people, Miss April, inner light, you know, it does mean you are happy, and do it the right method. If you maintain this, 
you can experience in a light longer. It could even be like the brightness as the sun in the sky in the midday. Well, if it's even more than that, congratulations. You have found some peacefulness in your meditation. But that's not all. It's just only the basic foundation. When you experience something more, let me know. Okay? Hello, Miss Anne. Wow, body disappeared. Andy, did body disappear? Miss Doris, I thought that I was going to miss you. Well, thank you very much. Too. That's body disappear very very good. Hello, Miss Rita. Good to see you from Australia. Well, one, remember relax. Okay, starting this do it every day. It will be the foundation. I also asked my tutor. I don't seem to progress. I asked him like this. I don't seem to progress. I always relax all the time. I didn't explain it further. Is it wrong? He said, No. Every time when you practice and you gain this relaxation, if you do it regularly, correctly every day, it will prolong the period longer. When it's longer, it will go higher to body disappear and even inner light. Longer, longer, longer. More firm foundation for relaxate for the meditation. And so everyone, don't be too much worried about your meditation experience. It's just a byproduct from your practice. What you should be worried is whether when you are meditate, you have been progressing. So how to make it progress? You do this just like I mentioned earlier. Things to do in meditation to help you progress. Relax, mindfulness, observe. During the time when you meditate, don't observe how you relax. Observe whether you are still relaxed or not. Maintain this to the rest of the meditation, and that is consistency. And after that, you will reflect by writing down your meditation experience. Every day it will allow you to reflect and observe what you did. Well, all in all, <clears throat> Next time later when I have designed our meditation homework and detail meditation experience form, I, will, I might ask you to write down and send it in send it in to me regularly, okay? So this we can help progress each other in meditation. Okay. Well, let's see what other comment do we have. Mr. Kuma, haven't seen you. Well, Good to see you back. Miss Christine, one, that's good. Okay, that's a good start. Mr. Nick, what is it? I felt a more intense experience this time. Well, this is mean what? I have to see first what kind of intense you're feeling. But I'm expecting if you ex intense like you try very hard, like sweat, heat, or heavy. Be careful that you try too much. It's not in the right balance. Find the middle way. But if it's intense, like you feel like you've been uh, sucking down to the center or be falling down very fast, in this case, that's a good progress. It means you relax, about to get to level two, which is body disappear. But it's just that if you feel, oh, getting out or feeling just up, uh, surprised by this and your meditation just gone. Don't worry about it. Just start over. Meditation experience is also, meditation practice is, is also um, training yourself to be ready for the new thing. So starting over is nothing bad at all. It means you have yourself, okay? you have yourself progress to the right direction, okay? Starting over if you did wrong, don't stuck to the own one, because if it's wrong, it's not good investing your time to, to continue or persist in the wrong direction, okay? Hello, what's it? It means more relaxed, well, that's really good, because you have come to the right progress, but you just need to practice more often, okay? Anyway, anyone else? like to share no all right if not 
Then let me get down to our highlight today, beside the meditation, the chase master. What can we learn from this? Well, this is a Chinese story. I like it about about Chinese thing. Well, uh, even though my I'm I'm one fourth Chinese. Anyway, the thing was um, the story is about once upon a time there is a general who lead the army. He is a very very prideful and conquer all the victory every war that he goes or he has been been to. So he has been proud himself and he also good at playing chess and he believed himself to be the chess master as well. And then one day along the way when he went to fight of the bandit that come to border in the village near the border of his country. And once when he was passing one village he saw the sign. It said that I am the chess master. I never been loose before. Anyone can come and challenge. And the general found it, hey, this is really really good like he has boasting. Well, I must try. So then he went to challenge this chess master in the village. The first time he win. He said, well, you don't seem to be like you had been saying at all. Second time, he win again. And the third time, he also win. Said, well, master, you had lost to me three times without any coincidence. Maybe after I left, you should take down the sign. The ch- chess master doesn't say anything. He just smiles and just not without saying anything and the general left after he been off for a while he went and defend and and fight off the bandits and he won the victory greatly now this time he passed the same village and he passed the same chase master and he saw the size still on so he just feel ego so he went in there and said hey master I think you should take down the side you lost to me three times. But this time the master say, well, let's try again, shall we? Well, why not? So this time he play with the chess master. The first time he lost. The second time he lost. And the third time he lost consecutively. And upon the surprise, the general said, Wait a minute, what's going on? You lost to me before, but this time how come you won me three times straight in a row just like it wasn't like earlier? The chess master replied, he said, Well, earlier when you met me, you was about to go to war to fight off the bandits. If you lost to me, it would hurt your pride greatly and it, it could affect your victory. But this time you had won your war. So I would not, I would not intentionally lost to you again. And so the general left without saying anything. And that's the end of the story. What can you learn from that? You see, to be the winner it doesn't necessarily to be winning all the time. Sometimes you have to be open, see the situation. Sometimes when you have an agreement with someone, we will not, we will not intend to listening to you. It is better to let them win rather than try to win against them because it's, it won't make you feeling any better. Instead, it just making us feeling upset even more. So that sometimes we have to control our emotion, winning ours against our own self, our mind, conquering our mind, conquering ourselves is the best victory of all. Just like the chess master. Okay everyone, 
So how to win the chess master? Like the chess master, you have to control your mind. And how will you control your mind? Just like you did with me today. Practice meditation. I don't ask you to practice all the time. All I'm asking is twice a day is good enough. If not, once a day is not bad neither. And how long should you meditate? Well, if you are new, never practiced before, or practiced but not often, five to fifteen minutes is a good start. But when you do it better, better and better, one hour is good. But if you can do it more than one hour, two hour is the best. But if you can do it all. Just get start five to fifteen minutes first, okay, everyone. And so, by the end of next. Uh, next month, which is October, I shall have something for you special to practice meditation and have something for you to fill out the form too. Okay, for everyone. I hope you enjoy uh, your day, your daily life, and don't forget to meditate. And I hope to see you again next Sunday. Thank you very much.